Man, it's your boy Papa Dope, man. I want to drop this video. Yeah, I'm driving, so y'all got to bear with me. I'm going to be safe. But listen, man, I just want y'all to know America is a failed society. And I can go on and on on why. This is the only spot where you can go to further your education and that shit turn out to be the biggest debt of your life. You got people that done went on and graduated and got married, had children, and still paying their student loan bite. Don't you know America, student loan is one of the biggest debts here in America? Fail society, bro. Fail society. This is the only place where they can sign 14 and 16 year old to get on records, to get on radio, and talk about killing each other, which we already know what's that promoting. You feel me? What is that promoting? Fail society, bro. I mean, literally, literally pay them to talk about killing our own people, bro. Fail society, bro. This is the only place, bro. Where you could go to jail because you you coerced to go to jail. I be trying to tell y'all when you put in an environment with limited resources, you're gonna commit crimes. When there's no money, crime goes up. When they cut welfare, or when they cut this and cut crime goes up. So when you go to jail, you become a felon. In the eyes of the law, you are a dead man. That's what that basically means. When you become a felon, you're a strip. You can't do nothing. You can't vote. You can't protect. You can't work a job. You can't. You can't. Uh, you you can't even. You can't even adopt. And you could have made this this decision when you was younger. But this is the only place, bro, in America, bro, where it's called the White House, <laughs> and people really go vote thinking that it's going to change. Man, even white people know what time it is. Man, even white they fool even white people. White people ain't even crazy about this shit no more. Because they understand, man, they get they getting duped just as long as we get duped. And all of us feel like, cause it, like I told y'all, it's not it's not a color thing, bro. It just depends on your your education, where you at, and how and your perception of everything. You feel me? But this is this is a failed society, bro. This is where the poor people pay more taxes than the rich people. Failed society, bro. And these people got data on all type of things. And this is no disrespect to no no teachers, but female teachers, you gotta look, you gotta, I'm, I'm gonna do this, I'm, I'm gonna do a whole nother video on how female teachers relate to students, especially male students, right? In a, in a, in a classroom setting. That's gonna blow your mind. But like I said, this is a failed society. This is where they make you farmers, because a lot of these farmers are becoming real soft. And I, I get it, you know what I'm saying, you gotta make money, but some of you farmers, a lot of y'all, y'all gotta come forward. Y'all gotta let these people know about these, what, what, what my, my son always doing with these GMOs and how they paying y'all to kill all y'all crops because you know they finna come with this food shortage. I told y'all where those farmers showing their letters that they got letters from the government saying, hey, we're gonna pay you this, but you gotta get rid of all your crops, you gotta kill all your crops. I've done, this is a fail of society. I've done videos on cow milk. Farmers coming on that bitch is vouching for it. Yup, it's pussing blood and milk, homie. And I told y'all where the term from the rootum to the tootum come from. That mean from your nose to your ass. We're gonna sell you everything on this animal. And we had to come up with a marketing scheme to make y'all buy this shit. That's why we buy cow tongues and cow feet and you know, because it costs them money to dispose it. So this shit end up in dog food. Matter of fact, if you look at dog food and look at the food we eat, it's damn near the same thing. Meat, rice, this, that, woo do woo do woo But like I say, this is a failed society. Back in the day, nigga ain't know nothing. You ain't never need a, you ain't never known a dog to catch cancer. Now dogs falling off catching cancer just like humans. Because of the shit they put in our food. Failed society. You know what I'm saying? Allowing us to eat stuff. Then I'm going to do a video on that too because I got all the information on that too. I'm going to show y'all the comparisons of uh, McDonald's french fries ingredients compared to um, over here. I'm going to show y'all the cornflakes ingredients in other countries compared to over here. America's a fucking testing ground, bro. This shit is a... America is one big testing ground, bro. They, they test everything on us. When you compare our food to other countries, it's a total difference when it comes to ingredients, bro. But this is America. This is America, bro. This is a fair society, bro. Look what they doing to our children. <sighs> Putting these crazy books and shit in the library 
And these children are allowed to read it. We're talking about undeveloped minds. I keep saying it. I'm going to keep on saying it so y'all can get a good understanding. When you're dealing with undeveloped minds, you can teach them whatever. Like they say, the children are the future. But if you instill what your agenda is in these children, they're going to carry it out. And it's going to outthrow, it's gonna overthrow you by default. These kids don't know no better. Look at what they're doing to them. Like, come on, bro. This is a failed society, bro. And the rich are going to continue to get rich. The poor is going to continue to get poor. You know what I'm saying? This is the only society where a, 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 a black man can't be present in the house in order to get assistance from the government. I told y'all, and I'm going to keep saying it, because like I said, y'all watch my videos a couple minutes. They've been duping this shit in our brains for 20-some plus years, and some people's longer. So I may say the same thing over and over, but I need you to understand. When they do that, when they tell you, look, we'll put you on hood, we'll give you this, we'll give you that, but that man can't be in that house. And I keep telling y'all, when they do that, what happens? The government becomes the man, and the man no longer has a place in his own home. I keep telling y'all, especially women, as a black man, I'm telling you, we need y'all help. Y'all need our help. We are both being victimized by people that are sitting back, pointing and pulling the strings, not just on women, black and men, black, really everybody, bro, to a certain degree or on a certain level. But I'm speaking primarily for black women. We need y'all help, man. And the only time this going to hit home is when something like this happened to your son. I noticed that. Cause you could tell yo, you could you could say what you want to say about a band. I ain't being disrespectful. I'm just being real. I'm just being honest. And it goes the same way with men. You know what I'm saying? You, a person may feel a certain way about child support, this and that. Like I always say, you can't make a man raise a child. Okay. But if your son get put on child support for trying to take care of his child, for trying to see his child, and you know how people use child support for whatever, now nah, you understand. We got to stop this. Even with men, bro, you have a child, man, take care of your children. But you can't make, you can't, a, a real man gonna take care of his child. And I'm just using that as an excuse, man. Women, we need y'all help. Just like y'all need our help. And if you pay attention to men, and I know I'm a little off topic, but all this, all this stuff plays a role in why shit so fucked up. If you look at how men see women now, especially American women, it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty, but this was this was this was over time and in the making. But like I say, man, at the end of the day, man, America's a failed society, man. This is where there's no culture, you know, there's no integrity. Everybody here just wanna get rich, they make money. This is just this is not somewhere I would wanna if I had to choose, hell no, nah, I wouldn't want to um, be born in America. This is a fucking testing ground, bro. No culture, bro. There's nothing. Everybody just on the mark, get said, go. Everybody for themselves. Other countries, they work together spiritually, collectively. You know what I'm saying? They have morals, integrity. I'm not saying everybody in America, but damn not everybody. Damn so enough for where you can't, you, can, you ain't finna sit on here and toot your horn like America's just full of integrity. People with integrity. Hell no. So we, we ain't finna do that. But when you study other cultures and you look at how other cultures are, man, America is the most obese country in the world. We got the most people in prison. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on, bro. The fool here sucks. Cause they let all that shit that other countries ban, they bring it here and let us, you know, like I say, Mount Dew is one of the things that is banned in other countries. Hell, chewing gum is banned in other countries. It is so much stuff. And I keep trying to tell y'all, they're not, they're not gonna tell you this, bro. How you think you control billions of people? You keep them ignorant. You keep them dumb, you keep them working, you keep them busy. Religion, come on, bro. Everything, man. This is a failed society, people, and I'm sorry, man. So if I was you, as a black woman, I would get with, if you, if you, it, I wouldn't even just say as a black person, as a person in general. But you as a woman, you get with a man, and both of y'all come up with how y'all are gonna govern y'all own family. I feel as though family should go buy big land and build. So mama house right there, auntie house, brother house. I think that they should have when you come through the gate, it should say the uh the Jones is compound. 
I don't think you should go rent from other people. I think y'all should work together. It shouldn't be eight people in one house leaving the house going to work for eight different bosses. That shit don't make sense. But this is failed society. This is what America does. You got people from other countries come over here, learn, and go back and teach their people. I keep telling y'all, man, stop looking for bombs and, and tanks and grenades and when, 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 when you speak of war. You are at war. And you have to understand the definition of war. I told you, you got to redefine a lot of shit. Stop looking for tanks and bombs when you know you are at war, man. You're at war for your mind. If, I, if what I'm saying don't make sense, bro, man, cut this shit out right now, man. But it's the truth. And as long as they take us through that, that ringer, the 12 step brainwash count school, teach us these curriculums because they have engineers that come in and they study us from children from from this grade to that grade and how we transform from this grade to that they know what to do to us to get us to go to work for the rest of our funky lives bro pay bills for 30 days every 30 days for the rest of our lives and no one say something ain't right with that you at war for your mind homie and the people that's pulling the strings they do not get out of their bed to make your life a better life. I don't give a damn if you white. I don't give a damn if you black. I don't give a damn if you Puerto Rican, if you Spanish, Dominican, motherfucking Mexican. I don't give a damn. I've been living long enough. And if you fail to realize this, all I can do is say, man, I call people like that lost souls, bro. You can't help them. And like my uncle say, I don't worry about people on the third floor when I'm on the 10th floor. They can't see what you see up there, so I don't argue with people like that. But all you got to use is your common sense. I don't. I, the stuff that I'm telling you is common sense, bro. You ain't got to go to school. You ain't got to do nothing that they see what I'm talking about. It's common sense. See, what you got to fail to realize, what people fail to realize is whatever's we doing up until today, that shit never worked and never will. Voting, never will. NAACP, never will. Nothing up until this point, even religion, everything, nothing works. And it never will. You, ha you have to change it. Something has to change. Okay? I wasn't put here to work for a motherfucker and, and, and draw unemployment when the life expectancy is, what, 68? You draw unemployment when you, what, 64, 63 or some shit? So you mean to tell me you, you meant to work that long? Put your money in the 401k. I keep telling y'all, anytime there's a pool of money, there's some investing going on. This is how the rich stay rich. They, by the time they done invested your money and gave it back to you, bro, that, come on, bro, that's pennies on the dollar. They done made millions off your money. You a grown-ass man and a grown-ass woman. You don't need nobody to hold your money. Fail society. And I get in my feelings about this, bro, every time because I just look at our children. I look at the people. Don't care what color you are, bro. Born on this earth to be taken advantage of or, or weak ass people that want you to live a certain way. Want you to live by their agenda. These people telling us there's too many people on earth, but they create robots. But we got to start thinking. Because common sense, that's all you need. Common sense, bro. So get off your high horse. Start understanding as, as humanity or as people. We need to come together. Because if not, bro, like I keep trying to tell y'all, tell your son, tell your grandson, your granddaughter, tell them I'm sorry right now because I ain't did nothing. I saw this shit coming and I ain't did nothing. Tell them I'm sorry right now. Look them in the eye tell them I'm sorry right now. Like I say, man, it's your boy Papa Duck, man. I love all, and I just like to use my platform to spread love. Put your comments on the bottom of this video. Share this video, man. Just know, bro, we all on the same team, man. And I, I mean that. I don't have to, I don't need no validation for nobody. I don't need none of that because I know where my heart at. You dig what I'm saying? And that's real. I ain't never asked nobody for nothing. I ain't never said, come do this, come do that, because I ain't out for it. I just like, I like to put my word out and I ask the ancestors to use me to, to do whatever it is I'm here to do. And I'm willing to do that, bitch. And I'm, ready to, I'm ready to leave this bitch and all behind it. Straight up. And that's just real. So with that being said, man, I love y'all, man. I hope y'all have a blessed one. And like I say, man, put your comments, share, like, whatever it is. And, man, like I tell you all the time, man, in order for you to be found, bro, you must first be lost. 
I will holler at y'all on the next um, video, man. Love y'all.